All right, this is out of a 1974 Airstream Overlander uh, that I'm currently renovating and uh, restoring all the windows on. This is one of the curb side windows, uh, the rear one in particular. And what I'm gonna be doing is uh, show you how to disassemble this. What I did was I went to Vintage Trailer Gaskets. Uh, they have a number of different uh, diagrams that show exactly what you're gonna be expecting to see. Um, so what I've determined already, so I've only printed it off a few pages, is that this is a um, dual sash window with uh, a interior plexiglass and exterior glass. Uh, so just simply easy enough, take something metal and just light taps against the glass seal. And it's, if it's a high pitch, you'll know it's a uh, glass. If it's a low, uh, low pitch, you can, you'll know it's a uh, plexiglass. So. In this case here, I'm going to go ahead and start with removing the inner window frame from the outer and that will be done by taking out 14 number 8 by 3 8 Phillips pan head screws. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Um, from there, I need to determine what the thickness of the outer glass is because then that'll uh, tell me what I need to do for uh, ordering parts because really they're there's two options for the restoration, so they're exactly the same. The only difference is that one glass is 0 0.18 or 3 16 and the other one is 0 0.15 or 5 30 seconds thick. So I need to know exactly how thick this glass is so I can order the right, uh, right glazing gaskets and we'll be able to get this back together. So I'll start with this upper hinge. So removing this hinge, uh, essentially there's a number of rivets across the top. So this is the top side of the window. We have to remove each one of these rivets because otherwise we won't be able to separate the two sides of the sashes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my center punch and a hammer. And we're going to center punch each rivet just so our drill bit does not wander. Go ahead and start with a 1 8 size drill bit, see if that's large enough for these rivets. So you'll see that the rivet head pops right off. We're going to go ahead and continue on with all of these. And now this will just pop right off. You have to remember this. So usually I'll take a Sharpie and write right on the back side where it's gonna be hidden uh, in the future when I reassemble this, where this came from. And uh, you already know this only, can only be installed one way. So you don't have to worry about uh, top or bottom. Now that we've gotten that uh, upper hinge removed, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the 14 screws that are holding in the inner sash to the outer sash. I'll start with that. So now at this point here, we should be able to pry up the inner sash. So we'll start at one side. beneficial to some people to use a knife once you get it far enough apart. As you can see there's the two sides stuck together with the foam. I'm going to get the glass taken out because that's the one that I am going to need to get taken out right away so I can get parts ordered. So continuing with our uh, Kind of call it demolition of our curbside awning window. I'm going to go ahead and work on removing the sash from the, the glass so I can determine the thickness of the glass. Um, what I need to do here is remove two, the rip, two rivets and two rivets at the bottom. This will allow me to split 
the, the window sash at the top and the, and the bottom here and then I will be able to pull these apart and get the glass out from inside. So I'm going to go ahead, center punch these rivets once again. So ideally you should be able to pull these two apart, um, but that being said, these have been together for 47 years. Uh, there's a good chance they won't come apart. But uh, what we will do just to aid, hopefully, is we're gonna grab a, a knife and we're gonna cut this uh, existing gasket out from outside. coming ahead so you can see we've got about a quarter inch there right now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the other side because you want to try to remove these two sashes or two halves equally so as you can probably so as you can see that I'm having trouble with uh, this one side so what I'm gonna actually end up doing get this first side completely So when you can't get one of those uh, window sashes out, uh, sashes, uh, connecting bars out, especially on these larger windows, it's a little more forgiving. So what you can do, backside, you just sneak the get glass out without even removing the bottom bar. So that still has the shape. Uh, what we'll do is, We'll go ahead and get that cleaned up. I can see it's a ton of rust inside this channel. I can see the bar, and now that I have the bar accessible, I can use a hammer from the side and punch it in one direction. So I'm gonna put this aside, and then we're gonna head, we're gonna determine exactly what thickness of glass we have here. So I got a bunch of metal shavings and everything on this uh, work surface. I'm not gonna lay this down, but uh, let me go ahead and get this cleaned up so I can continue on showing you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and measure this guy. And uh, we can see that it is measuring at 0 0.183, 184, uh, which is equivalent of 3 sixteenths. So now that we've determined this, we can go ahead and uh, get the parts ordered that I need. Now that we got this glass out, I'm gonna go ahead and get this outer edges cleaned off, get all the existing gasket off, the dirt, the grime, and see if we can get it nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, straight edge razor blade. Uh, you'll need lots of blades. Not anything fancy. So the exterior uh, is going to be filled with dirt. Make sure you change your blades.
So this is the curb rear interior uh, window sash. So this is the one that gets screwed in from the ex, uh, screwed into the exterior. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to peel all of this uh, gasket off. Uh, then we'll have to use a bit of goo gone probably and, or goof off to get this sticky adhesive off. But uh, continuing in with replacing all gaskets by uh, making it next to new, we're going to go ahead and get this inner window sash taken apart. So we'll go ahead and start with the rivets. Do the top side once again. There's the plexiglass, so this one is actually quite nice. So depending on the price of the gaskets, I might order a new one. I might reuse this. I haven't uh, ooh, haven't decided just yet, but it's still quite rubbery and malleable. And uh, if it's good, I'll keep it. If it's cheap, I will replace it. That's going to be uh, the end of this part. Um, the next one will be our reassembly of the the gas the windows with new gaskets, and then we'll get the the last video if, uh, if need be. We will get how to install these back into the airstream itself. So, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, uh, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next uh, video is up and ready to ready to wash.